we right click on the media pool and we import our image then we click again and this time we go on new fusion composition we click create and then double click this will bring us to the fusion page now don't be scared it's actually pretty easy to understand it everything here is a node for example this media out is our final clip and if we go to media pool here and drag our clip here you can see this media in is our clip now if i click on the media in and then click one on my keyboard the media in will be displayed on the first screen the media out is already being displayed in the second one in fact when i connect these two nodes so from the little square here I connect it to this yellow triangle, we can see that the second screen, so the media out, becomes exactly like the media in. As you can see, our final clip is not in a horizontal resolution. So to fix that, we're going to disconnect these two and we're going to make this media in into horizontal. The way we do that is we bring a background here and we display it on the first screen. We want to make it transparent like this by the way if you're not seeing the inspector just click on this button right here then while selecting our background we click on this merge node as you can see the merge node has a yellow background input and a green foreground input this means that if we connect our media in to the green input the media in will go on top of our transparent background in fact, if we click here to see the merge, we'll see our media in on top of the background. Of course, I want to make the woman smaller. To do that, I'll go to the inspector, reduce the size a bit, and then here I can move the image. Also, by clicking on just one of these two arrows, I can just move it on the X or Y axis. Now, if we try to simply make this image glow using the glow node, we can simply type shift space on our keyword and just type in glow. If we select it, that's not what we want. What we need is a white glow that's just on the border of our image. So to achieve that, we're going to use another background. We'll make this white since we want a white glow and then we'll drag our merge node into the blue input of this background. The blue input basically means that we are masking our background. We are making it work only on the area specified by this merge node that is the area of the woman. Now we can make our background glow and you can see this glowing is what we actually want and to finish our image we can just add a merge node and make sure that the glow is in the yellow background and then connect our woman our merge to the green foreground input if we view this new merge we can see that this is exactly what we want a glow behind and the woman on top. We can now regulate our glow settings such as the glow size and intensity and finally we must connect this final product to the media out. Let's clean this composition a bit. I'll use the line up all tools to grid button and we're basically finished. If we go back to the edit page and drag our fusion composition in we can see our woman. We can do this as many times as we want. But what if we maybe want to change the size of just one of this fusion compositions? We could simply hover on the composition we'd like to modify, click on the fusion page and change this merge setting. And now only this composition has been changed. It would also be nice to animate these images. If you'd like to see that, please write it in the comments subscribe to this channel, and click on the notification bells to stay updated. I'll see ya on my next video.